In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness there is no God but God, and God is the only one who has the right to be worshipped. I also bear witness that Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them, are the messengers of God, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So I've got a great video for you all today. We're going to touch on several different topics, and I'm the Mashiach, uh, Ascension, Shuman Resonance, um, we're going to be discussing, most importantly, about the Divine Laws and Commandments of the Most High, how this elevates uh, us in Ascension, how this, and we can see the effects of this in the Shuman Resonance, as it amplifies extremely high when we study uh, Divine Laws and Commandments. I have proven this in my last two videos, if you want to fact-check what I'm saying. Um, we did tests that uh, we studied together in my videos uh, reciting Divine Laws and Commandments of the Most High, and we saw extreme amplifications of the Schumann residents following uh, my uploads of my videos, as I said it would. Um, the first time was about three days, very solid. About The last video was about two weeks ago, and um, I did it specifically after November 11-11 to show that numbers are not going to affect the Schumann residents. This, this has to do with our uh, the law of cause and effect. Um, numbers are numbers. They have a certain vibration, each number, but uh, they don't have an effect on the overall uh, existence of creation. Nothing compared to what our, uh, our souls, our consciousness uh, can manifest. So by doing good deeds, by incorporating divine laws and commandments of the Most High, which incorporates truth and wisdom within our souls, this uh, manifests into the world and uplifts the world, uh, bringing us into a different parallel reality, a different timeline, uh, a different state of existence for the whole entire world that uplifts humanity, that uplifts the creation in this entire universe and multiverse. And uh, by doing that, implementing divine laws and commandments, we can see in the Schumann Resonance how it spikes. Uh, it's been spiking uh, quite a bit for the last few days as, as I've been studying in those days. So the days I do study, the Schumann Resonance spikes up. And when I study with all of you in these videos, you help amplify it even higher and higher. Um, as we saw, as I said in my previous videos, we did tests. And if you were watching the Schumann Resonance, or you can go back and check the dates of my uploads of my videos, and then check the times of the Schumann Resonance spikes, you will see what I'm saying is true. So I'm not just saying what I'm saying just to say it, I'm providing proof. Uh, the Schumann Resonance um, is, uh, is, is worldwide, it's the uh, heartbeat of the earth, it's the life force of the earth, it's like our life force of our heart centers, it's very similar, and we when our, when our heart centers uh, increase in vibration, in harmony, in balance. When we are in embodying these divine laws and commandments, these uh, wisdoms and truths within our souls, uh, this expands our heart and then expands the heart of the earth. And then the earth expands its heart so everyone can feel this um, uh, light from God that's coming into the creation, this, these higher energies uh, from the Most High. So we know Imam Mehdi, the Mashiach, uh, accompanied by, inshallah, uh, Jesus, uh, the son of Mary, who is also another Mashiach, uh, will come in the near future. Imam Mehdi, the Mashiach, is um, prophesied to come first, lay the groundwork uh, for Jesus. Uh, peace and blessings be upon him. So the world can be, uh, so the divine laws and obedience of Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, Hashem, source, prime creator, uh, will be established. The obedience of the Most High will be established on this earth. And um, it's prophesied that Imam Mehdi, the Mashiach, will come first. And then after uh, Jesus, son of Mary, the Mashiach will come second. And between the two, uh, we will reach a very uh, climatic uh, spiritual ascension in their lifetimes. So 
Uh, I also see a decline of spirituality after these divine souls leave this earth. Um, but in the times of their lives on this earth, we will reach a, a very high spiritual ascension. Um, very, very high. It will reach uh, in their lives in a, in a climatic um, uh, way. So it's very important for us to understand these concepts, uh, to know that uh, the Most High sends helpers, sends reformers from time to time to help humanity uh, move out of the rut or the spiritual dissension that uh, humanity has been in for the last uh, roughly 1400 years or so. Um, we had uh, the last spiritual revival with, the, uh, with our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Um, and then uh, he established uh, God's divine laws on this earth, but it only lasted for a short period of time and has been in a state of decline ever since. So we have all, not all of us, but many of us have been awaiting the return of Imam Mary the Mashiach, as well as Jesus, son of Mary the Mashiach. And with these two uh, in collaboration, will help establish the divine laws of God on this earth to manifest God's light, God's obedience, um, uh, sincerity to God on this earth, and by incorporating all these divine laws and wisdoms within ourselves, will increase the light of God on this earth, will expand our hearts, uh, will increase our ranks, and um, help us ascend higher and higher. So we are trying to ascend to uh, get closer with our Creator, um, to feel that presence, to increase our bliss, to increase our ranks, um, to increase our abundance, and all things positive uh, ascension is. And um, it's a difficult, uh, it's not an easy uh, thing. Uh, ascension requires work, requires effort, uh, struggling for the cause of God the Most High. So uh, we have to understand that it, it's, it's not always easy, but the rewards are beyond measure. So to say what we are sending to, I can't put that all in one word or in, in, in a paragraph. Uh, it is so ascension is beyond our comprehension. When we are, we, when we are uh, ascending to heights that we've never been to, this is new ground we are covering. This is new energies that we are experiencing. These are new vibrations that we're incorporating in our physical bodies and souls. So, uh, to put it simply, we're ascending closer to God as God is also getting closer to us, into this universe, into the multiverse. And we're receiving the benefits of bliss, of uh, tranquility, uh, humbleness, um, understandings of knowledge, um, and uh, abundance, uh, frequency, energies. Uh, we're all experiencing this as we ascend higher and higher. So as I said previously, incorporating um, divine laws and commandments, embodying them, embodying truth and wisdom equals ascension. So uh, we'll once again try to uh, raise the uh, frequency, allowing God's energy to permeate within ourselves and God's energy to perm what's all around us outside as God is within us and God is, is outside of us. We are all within God. We are all created by God. There's nothing that exists outside of God. So we are all within the creation, which is the eminence of God, not the full essence of God. The full essence of God is outside the creation, but the sparks of God's essence are within the creation. So we are within God. We can sense God around us, and we can also feel God within our hearts. So let's incorporate some of these divine laws and commandments. Um, I'll put the link to the Schumann Residence again in the description box. Uh, to see uh, the Schumann Resonance has been amplifying the last few days as I have been studying and every time I study um, these and, and embody these uh, truths and wisdoms within my own soul, uh, the Schumann Resonance rises. Um, so just to put the proof in the pudding, um, I'm not fabricating anything. Um, 
and I put what I say uh, as to show everybody within tests. Um, they can look for, at the Schumann residence for themselves. So let's let's start. Let's incorporate. Let's feel these energies fill our heart centers, and as our heart centers fill with this uh, truth and wisdom, we will expand uh, and move into a higher timeline, more spiritual, more blissful, more harmonious and balanced timeline, closer to our Creator, uh, the Most High, uh, the, the the Supreme, the Unique Creator of all that exists. And we will feel that in the creation, and that will expand outwards, out, outwardly into all the universes, and um, we will see that in the Schumann Residence itself. So I'm expecting the Schumann Residence to uh, spike even further um, as people watch this video and incorporate these truths and wisdoms within themselves. So let's get started. Let's incorporate, and then let's check uh, in the Schumann Residence and see how this uh, affects uh, the uh, Earth's uh, magnetic field, the Earth's life force energy, as the, is amplified by as we bring in the unique creative all that exists deeper into the creation. So, chapter 37, verse 4, God is one. Chapter 39, verse 7, Allah does not approve of his people to be ungrateful, approves of you being grateful. No soul that bears the burden can bear the sin of another. Allah will inform you of all things you have been doing when you return. Allah knows the most innermost secrets of the hearts. 39 verse 10. Take Allah as your shield, reward for good deeds. The earth is vast and spacious for those who are persecuted. Certainly the patiently persevering and steadfast rewards are beyond measure. We are ordered to worship Allah. We are ordered to worship Him, sincere, to be sincere to Him alone in obedience and to surrender to Allah's will. Uh, 39 verse 20 protection from Allah taking Allah as your shield leads to paradise Allah never fails in his promise 39 verse 22 woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the remembrance of Allah 41 verse 53 Allah will show signs to these disbelievers for their guidance even in remote regions Quran is a lasting truth manifest to them Allah will watches over everything 41 verse 54, disbelievers uh, doubt the meeting with their Lord. Allah encompasses everything in his knowledge and power. Those who take patrons apart from Allah, Allah is watchful over them. Allah records their deeds, a proof against them, and we are not responsible for their affairs. Whatever your differences, the ultimate decisions rest with Allah. Put your trust in Allah. Turn to Allah seeking his mercy. Allah ordained the same course of faith as Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, the same course. And do not differ in religion and form sex. To establish obedience to Allah, Allah guides and drives, drives, draws to him who he wills. 41, 42 verse 51. Allah speaks to humans by direct revelation or from behind a veil or by sending a messenger, an angel. To reveal his command and what Allah pleases. Allah is the most sublime, all wise. 52 verse 38. Nobody has the means to overhear Allah. And if you say that you can overhear Allah, bring forth a clear authoritative proof. Chapter 67 verse 23. Allah brought humans into being, ears to hear, eyes to see, and hearts to understand. Little thanks you give. 67 verse 29 we believe and put our trust in Allah truth will be revealed in time glorify the name of your Lord the great chapter 69 verse 52 69 verse 48 the Quran is a means to rise to eminence for those who are dutiful and guard against evil Allah is the master of the ways of ascent so why not solicit his grace chapter 70 verse 3 chapter 2 verse 174. Those who hide what Allah has revealed in this book and take a paltry price for it shall feed their bellies with nothing but fire. Allah will not speak to them on a day of judgment and treat them as pure. There awaits them a grievous punishment. Chapter 2, verse 107. Allah alone has sovereignty of the heavens and the earth. Allah alone is the only protecting friend or helper. 
Allah's messages can be abrogated or abandoned and replaced with something better or the like thereof. Allah indeed has power to do all He wills. Chapter 4, verse 136. Maintain faith in Allah and His Messenger and in this perfect book. Those who so denies Allah, His angels, and His messengers, and the last day indeed stray far away from the truth. Chapter 6, verse 38. All creatures are subject to divine laws. Quran is the perfect book of law, and we will all be gathered to the law. Chapter 6, verse 114 to 115. Seek Allah as your judge. Quran is a perfect book. Quran fulfills the requirements of truth and wisdom. Do not dispute this Quran. Prophetic word of Allah is bound to be fulfilled in truth and justice. There is no one who can change his words. Allah is all hearing, all knowing. Chapter 10, verse 61. Allah records all things in a plain book, to the biggest and the smallest. If Allah afflicts you with harm, none can remove it. If He desires any good for you, none can stop His bounty. Allah is a great protector, ever merciful. Chapter 11, verse 1. Allah is one, all wise, all aware. Allah is all knowing of His creatures. Allah governs every, everyone by clear law. Chapter 13, verse 2. Allah occupies the throne of sovereignty. Allah has made the sun and the moon subservient to humans. Allah regulates all affairs. All those in the heavens and in the earth submit to Allah alone, willing or not, and likewise their shadows in the morning and evenings, all subject to divine laws. All signs are from Allah. Everything has an appointed term. There is divine law to regulate it. That was chapter 13, verse 38. Chapter 13, verse 39. Allah repeals what He wills and establishes and confirms what He will. Allah is the source and origin of all laws and commandments. Chapter 16, verse 44. Allah revealed clear proofs and scriptures so that you may remind mankind of the laws and commandments so they may ponder and reflect. Chapter 16, verse 69. Eat every fruit, follow the laws and commandments of your Lord, which have been made easy for you. And the fluid of fruit have cure for the people, a sign for the people who reflect. Allah revealed this perfect book explaining everything, and serves as guidance and mercy, and gives good tidings to those who submit to Allah. Chapter 16, verse 90. Allah commands justice and doing good to others, forbids indecency and manifest evil and transgressions. Chapter 17, verse 44. The seven heavens, the earth, and all those inhabiting them extol His glory. Everything in creation glorifies Allah with His true and perfect praise. Chapter 17, verse 54. Allah knows you best. Allah did not send the messenger to be a disposer of their affairs, which are the disbelievers. Allah's true servants have no authority over them, the disbelievers. Sufficient is your Lord as a disposer of their affairs. Chapter 17, verse 81. Say, truth has come and falsehood has vanished away. Falsehood is indeed ever bound to vanish away. Chapter 17, verse 96. All Allah suffices as a witness between me and you. Allah is all aware of his servants. Allah does injustice to no one ever. Every deed, big and small, is recorded. Those who believe and do deeds of righteousness should know their reward will not be lost, and whom there awaits them paradise, gardens of eternity. The law of cause and effect. Chapter 20, verse 1 to 2. Allah created man perfect. Allah, cre Allah revealed Quran for a successful mission. Chapter 20, verse 123 to 124. Those who follow Allah's guidance shall not be lost, nor shall they be unhappy. Those who turn away from Allah's remembrance shall surely lead a straightened life, and shall be raised blind on the day of resurrection. Chapter 21, verse 105. My servants with the right capacity to rule shall inherit the land. So this is a very important one to understand that we know Imam Mahdi, Mashiach, as well as Jesus, son of Mary, uh, the Mashiach will also uh, be servants of God, and they will have the right capacity to rule, that they will have 
the right divine, uh, they'll have the a high level of truth and wisdom, understanding of divine laws and commandments, and will have other capacities to rule that Allah knows best, and they will inherit the land. Allah knows best how that will happen. Chapter 21, verse 95. It is not permissible to the people of a township whom we have destroyed to come back to life in this world. 23, verse 32. Worship Allah without partners and to guard against evil deeds. This was a, this was a commandment of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Chapter 24, verse 44. Allah sets a cycle of night and day. 30, 30. Full-hearted attention and devotion to faith turn away from all that is false. That's very important for us nowadays, is turn away from all things that are false, the new, the main media, uh, news channels, uh, the governments of the world, they are all in falsehoods. Um, even many people, the most of the videos on YouTube uh, deal with a lot of falsehoods and stuff. Um, videos like these that actually use uh, in, like mine that um, are uh, revealing to people, uh, reminding the people these divine laws and commandments are speaking the truth, are speaking the wisdoms. Um, these are of, of great benefit, as we will see as a Schumann residence will rise, as we are uh, incorporating, embodying these truths and wisdoms within our souls, within our bodies, within our essences, and uh, our hearts are expanding, God's energies are coming closer to us as we are getting closer to the Most High. So very important for us to turn away from all that is false. Uh, faith suits the nature and requirements of mankind. There can be no change in the nature which Allah has made. Chapter 31 verse 28, human souls are like one single soul. It does not behoove a believing man or woman to exercise an option in their affairs after Allah and His Messenger have decided the matter. Those who disobey Allah and His Messenger surely stray far away in clear error. That was chapter 33, verse 36. 33, verses 3. Put your trust in Allah. Allah is as sufficient as a disposer of affairs. Chapter 33, verse 62. You will find no change in the way of Allah. Chapter 33, verses 72, verse 73. Allah has presented the trust, laws, and commandments to the heavens and the earth, and they refuse to prove false to it. But human beings prove false to it, violating the divine laws, with the result that Allah will punish the hypocritical men and women and the polytheist men and women. Chapter 34, verse 21. Though he, Iblis, the devil, has no authority over the people. People will not be accountable for other people's sins. That's chapter 34, verse 25. 34, verse 48. Allah will do away with falsehood by means of the truth. Allah is thoroughly aware of all the hidden realities. Chapter 35, verse 6. Satan is an enemy to you, so treat him as an enemy. Following Satan results that they shall become the inmates of the blazing fire. Chapter 35, verse 8. The law of guidance. Allah forsakes him who wishes to go astray and guides him who wishes guidance. Do not fret yourself because of them, the misguided ones. Chapter 35, verse 45. If Allah took to task of every little evil people would do, he would not leave on the surface of the earth a single living creature. Allah's law of mercy, but he grants them all respite till an appointed term. Allah deals with his creation according to the nature of their deeds, the law of cause and effect. And Allah has the law of mercy of respite that he delays punishment. Because you, you can also repent and do other good deeds to um, ex expiate your sins. So Allah says in chapter 36, verse 11, You can only warn those who follow the reminder of the Qur'an and are full of reverential awe of the Most High in their hearts of hearts give, give glad tidings of protection and an honorable precision provision for those chapter 36 verse 82 his command when he intends to evolve a thing he says it to be and it comes into being in its proper time chapter 36 verse 83 glory be to allah 
Allah has perfect control of everything, and to him shall you all return. Chapter 37, verse 4, Verily your God is one. The Qur'an was revealed, establishing the truth to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. Worship Allah alone, being truly sincere to Him in obedience. Forbidden to eat animals which dies of itself, the blood, meat, a pig, and the other animals which the name other than Allah was invoked. The above animals can be eaten without sin, if needed for bare necessity. Chapter 2, verse 172, eat good and pure things and render thanks to Allah if you really worship Him alone. So by thanking God is a form of worship, or thanking for what you eat, all the things that God provides for us, the air, you know, the electricity that keeps our heart pumping, uh, all the things that go on in the unseen and seen, um, we are very thankful for the Most High. So chapter 2, verse 178, equitable retaliation has been ordained for you in the matter of the slain. So um, I'm just going to skip that one for now. Um, chapter 2, verse 179, your life, your life lies in the law of equitable retaliation so that you may enjoy security. So this is very important for us to understand. Our security lies in the law of equitable retaliation. So we cannot uh, defend ourselves or retaliate uh, greater than what was done harm to us. So if somebody, say, hit me with a slap or something, and then I went out and retaliated beyond what I, beyond the slap, um, then, uh, then I would be the aggressor. So um, it's very important uh, not to retaliate beyond uh, equability that we are um, we retaliate in an equitable manner that we don't um, uh, like Allah says uh, the law of retaliation was prescribed for the Jews as eye for eye ear for ear nose for nose and um, other injuries the like thereof so you cannot uh, punish somebody greater than the harm that they did basically so, um, let's keep moving some of these ones. These ones have to deal with war and stuff. Um, so I'm going to make a later video incorporating those. Um, so, like this one, chapter 4, verse 90. Do not fight a people who have made a pact with you. Do not fight a people whose hearts are constricted from fighting against you or their own people. If they leave you alone and do not fight against you, but make you an offering of peace, then Allah allows you no way of fighting against them. So it's very important to understand, you know, anybody who makes peace off, who who makes peace, as a believer, we have no right to uh, continue a war or uh, aggressions towards those people. Um, if you find, okay, we're gonna skip that. that was more to do with war. So, like I said, we're going to uh, put that in another video. Um, so, whoever, in chapter 4, verse 93, Whomsoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is hell fire. Allah is displeased with him and also deprived him of his blessing and prepared for him a great punishment. Um, so, in chapter 4, verse 94, In the cause of Allah, make proper investigations in regards to who is a believer. And do not say to him who offers you peace, you are not a believer. Allah has referred his special favors on you, the believers, so hence make proper investigations. So we always, should always make proper investigations in all, in, in, you know, in all things that, um, you know, that matter. Chapter 4, verse 95, such believers who stay at home, except the disabled ones, and those who strive in the cause of Allah, with their substances and their lives are not equal. Allah has exalted in rank those who strive in His cause and with their substance and their lives above those who stay at home with greater reward. Yet to each one Allah has promised good. So uh, the believers who stay at home or go out and strive for God um, are promised good, but those who actually go outside their houses, who are not disabled and um, uh, And they uh, they spend uh, 
from their lives and from their earnings, a lawful earnings in the cause of God, um, their rank is much higher. Okay. So Allah says in chapter 4, verse 135, O you who believe, be strict observers of justice, bearers of true evidence for the sake of Allah, even though against yourself, your parents, or near your kin, or to be rich or poor. Do not follow your own low desires in order to be able to do justice. Um, if you distort or evade true evidence, remember Allah is well aware of what you do. Um, okay. uh, chapter 4, verse 138. Tell the hypocrites clearly that a willful punishment awaits them. Um... So chapter 5, verse 32, For the children of Israel, he who kills a human being, unless it be for murdering a person or reforming disorder in the country, it is as, is as if he has killed the entire human race. And whoso saves a human life, it is as if he saved the entire mankind. So, uh, I'll just get a couple of the end ones here. Um... So Allah says in chapter 5, verse 48, Judge between them according to which Allah has revealed the Torah, Quran, or Evangel. Do not deviate from the truth that has come to you in order to follow their low desires. So Allah is saying, Judge between them according to which Allah has revealed to them the Torah for the Jews, uh, the Quran for the Muslims, and the Gospels of Jesus, uh, the Evangel uh, for the Christians. Um, also, the Torah will be tied in with the Christians as well as they... Um, as Jesus was observant, uh, was a Torah observer. Um, and do not deviate from the truth that has come to you in order to follow their low desires. So don't follow the low desires of other peoples to deviate from you the, from the truth and wisdom that comes from the Quran and Torah and the Gospels of Jesus and other authentic scriptures that Allah has revealed to other prophets and messengers <clears throat> throughout the course of time. So, um, We'll just do a few more. Uh, my heart feels very expansive. It feels very uh, strong right now. I feel very close with Allah, the unique creator of all that exists. I hope you're, you're feeling that too. And you will see uh, soon within uh, maybe uh, hours within me uploading this video, you'll see the shoe in resonance uh, corresponding as well. I mean, the shoe in resonance has been popping off a little bit for the last three days, but we're going to continue as this. Um, we're going to increase the amp amplification because you're going to be helping me uh, and we're going to be joining within our fields, our energy that is going on in the unseen and it's going to help lift up humanity. So it's very important for us to incorporate these divine laws and commandments and I'm showing you clear proofs from the Schumann Resonance. Um, what I'm saying is truth. So chapter 7 verse 74. Remember, therefore, the favors of Allah. Do not commit mischief in the land, acting as creators of disorder. Chapter 48, verse 26. Um, so Allah grants peace and harmony because Allah made the messenger and his believers observe closely and firmly to the code of self-restraint. Allah has full knowledge of everything. Chapter 48, verse 28. Allah sent his messenger with guidance and truth faith so that he may help it prevail over all other faiths. Allah is sufficient to be to bear witness. Okay, Allah will raise the believers from strength to strength, with the result that the disbelievers suffer an impotent rage because of them. So by doing this, we are uh, Allah is raising us, the believers, because we are incorporating these divine laws and commandments from strength to strength. We can see the strength of Shuman resonance increase thus far. Um, if I had a, a thing to measure my heart. Um, uh, energy, uh, if I had the equipment to do that, uh, I could show you in this video that my heart is ex getting very strong as, as I'm embodying these these truths and wisdoms, uh, these divine laws and commandments of the Most High. Um, showing you the proof is in the pudding here, but it's even more so to show you on a grander scale of the Schumann Resonance. Um, so chapter 42, verse 36, a much better and more lasting reward for those who believe and put their trust in Allah. 42 verse 37, lasting reward for those who avoid the more grievous sins and acts of indecency 
and who forgive when their anger is aroused. 42 verse 39, lasting reward for those who, when they meet wrongful aggression, defend themselves. 42 verse 38, lasting reward for those who respond to their Lord and observe prayer, uh, whose affairs are decided by mutual consultation. Those who go on spending in our cause out of what we have provided for them. Uh, 42 verse 40, the recompense of an evil done is a punishment equal to it. But he who pardons and thereby improves the matter by reforming the offender shall have his reward from Allah. Allah does not love the wrongdoers. Chapter 42, verse 41. No blame shall lie on those who defend themselves after a wrong is done to them. Chapter 42, verse 42. The blame only lies on those who wrong people and commit aggression in the land without justification. Chapter 42, verse 43. The one who bears and forgives surely to do so is a matter of great fortitude and high resolve. Chapter 6, verse 116, Obeying the majority of those on earth would lead you astray from Allah's way. The majority on earth follow nothing but mere surmise and make nothing but conjectures. So, um, Allah saying, do not obey the majority of those on earth. So, democracy, things like that, that are majority rule, will take you away from truth, will take you away from wisdom. Uh, democracy is basically fools electing fools. Um, it breeds, democracy breeds corruption as we see that every government that operates in democracy in this whole entire world is corrupt and their corruption is cr increasing um, because they can organize, the corrupt people can organize and get the people who don't know what's really going on, the ignorant people of this earth, um, to vote and sway them through mass media and other control mechanisms and manipulate them to get their whoever they want, uh, some low-level um, uh, soul that is not very uh, enlightened to be, um, but who is very manipulative uh, to be in a position of power and make laws that are not according to the divine laws and commands of the Most High, which they are associating partners with God, which is shirk, um, which is the most evil sin that you can do in the entire world. Um, this is going on on a massive scale uh, all around the globe and by by voting um, these people in you are accomplice to their evil so it's very important for us not to vote uh, it's very important for us to uh, stay away from falsehoods to stay away from the uh, mainstream medias from what the government's saying uh, we have to disassociate. We have to disassociate from those ways of thinking, of those falsehoods entering in our hearts and minds, and uh, incorporating stuff like these divine laws, and commandments. Um, these divine commandments are eternal. Um, they're timeless. So you can always come back to my videos and listen to these again and fill your hearts again, as I read these over and over again for myself, and I increasingly get more and more benefits from doing so as I see the results in the Shu and Residence. So keep, inshallah, keep an eye on the Shu and Residence and you will see what I'm saying is true. Do your own research about what the Shu and Residence is. I'll give you some details in my videos, but there's a lot more um, information out there. Um, it's relatively a new thing that uh, we've discovered in the 1950s by a man of uh, Mr. Schumann, uh, Mr. Schumann. And he named it after himself, as it's called the Schumann Resonance. So it's a life force of the earth, it's the heartbeat of the earth, it's the electromagnetic field of the earth, as we also, our hearts, produce a very powerful electromagnetic, electromagnetic field that resonates with the, uh, the heartbeat of the earth, the Schumann Resonance of the earth. So um, they're all intertwined, as we're all one in God, we're not separate from God. Um, and it's important for us to ascend, to keep moving forward, so... Um, we will increase our blessings, increase our knowledge, increase our light, our closest with the Most High. Um, and we will live a beautiful and harmonious uh, life in this world. And a uh, very high rank will be the closest, inshallah, to the Most High, inshallah, in this world and the next. And may Allah bless us. Um, my heart is feeling very strong. I, I know for a Father Shu in residence is going to respond to that. And if you are doing it as well, it's going to go through the roof. So I encourage you to incorporate these, embody these divine laws, 
the commandments, truth and wisdom within your own soul, with your own being, embody them, and inshallah, you will see the results through law of cause and effect. So thank you so much. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. Thank you. Peace.